This is a fun little shader I made for a Halloween animation. And as there was quite a nice um, reception to it on Twitter, I thought I would release this video explaining how the shaders were set up. Uh, as you can see, it works in EV and cycles. And I have set up a few variables to easily control this shader group, such as animation speed, the static bar location, which can be sort of shifted up and down, and gamma just to, you know, increase the effect of the noise or boost things slightly. Within the node itself, we have a number of little containers here. What are they called? Frames, frames. Um, we have the static for the bottom, which is just made out of a Musgrave texture but it's driven in part by the positional data of a Voronoid texture. So you have this nice kind of uh, clipped look on one side and it breaks it up a little bit more. That's mixed with a uh, mask, just a gradient mask here that's blended together with a bit of gamma adjustments for this shimmery uh, tracking noise kind of effect. The bulk of the noise is made out of uh, noise procedural textures as well as a Voronoid texture to blend the three color channels together, having them slightly different sizes as well as the blue channel be uh, consist of a more a larger, clumpier type of noise. This is all based on looking at various references of the real thing. Little fireflies, little speckles here and there, kind of high frequency noise. Um, restricted by a map range here. So that's what it is, and that's what it is with the map range. And the bars uh, moving up, kind of scanning up here. This is uh, added together with a another Musgrave texture. And that's used to affect the luminosity a little bit, as well as drive the position of uh, the text layer here, which is just an image. Um, at the moment. As you can see, we have little bits of distortion and stuff, which looks nice. Uh, yes, it is an image, but I am also aware of a text node for Blender by CG on Fire, which could be worth a look. So this could theoretically be done within this shader flow. And lastly, we have a vignette here just to uh, affect the color ever so slightly, and that all blends together. And this is driven by uh, just a variable here, which adjusts the positional as well as 4D input data into the various procedural nodes here. And that's just a little driver which takes the frame and divides it by 50. Um, yeah, so that's the final result. And if you want to use this on your own models, uh, then all you really have to do is make sure that, just switch this over to UV, that it covers the UV space as all of the coordinates are set up for UV. And that is about it really. If you want to download this shader, you can do so from my Gumroad page, but also uh, on my Patreon. The font I used is available via Defont and is called VCR OSD Mono. And I will make all of these links available in the description. If you happen to download this shader and use it in a project, then let me know on Twitter at Louis Dumont. And thanks for watching.